Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to create an interactive broker's account, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's jump straight in. The first thing you want to do is go over to interactivebrokers.com. And from this page up on the top right hand side, you will see there is a open account button. We're going to tap on that. Now, right over here, you can see that there is a few things that you can choose. Uh, there's a guide to choosing the correct account. You will also see that there are some requirements. You can check them out here under what you need. And if you've started an application, you can continue that application here. However, we're going to tap on start application. And now as we are going into this page, you will see that you need to enter an email address, a username, a password, and then the country of origin. And you can now create your account. So from here, you can see now that you need to confirm your email address on the right hand side. There is a confirm and uh, now it says check your email and confirm your email address. You're going to go now into your email address and you will now confirm that you have received the email and there it is over there right at the top. You can see now that there is a confirm. You can also use this code right over here to confirm your email address. So um, if you're tapping on enter the code over here, you can just copy that and enter it in over here. We're going to now confirm this email address straight from here. You can now select your individual brokerage account. So if you're looking for an individual joint or an retirement account, you can go ahead and select the appropriate account. And um, if you need a trust account, an advisor account, an institutional account or any other type of account as they are um, putting in this other section over here, you can select the accounts that you would like. And uh, we're going to go ahead and you can tap on start application. Now it does note that you will not be able to return to this page after you continue your application. So make sure that all of this stuff over here is actually done correctly. You can see now you have actually received a, a unique username over here, an account number. And uh, from here, you'll have to now choose some details. So you are going to choose your title. Uh, you are gonna now also choose your uh, first name, uh, your middle name as well as your last name and uh, we're going to go ahead and put those details in here you're going to now also put in your building number and street address so you can just go ahead if you have autofill it'll autofill all of this in and uh, right at the bottom over here if you have a different mailing address you'll able be able to put that in there if you have a different citizenship other than south africa you can go ahead and put that in there and if you were born outside of the country of choice you have selected previously you can select that one you'll now enter a phone type a location and then also your phone number and then we're having a look at some personal details such as date of birth marital status uh, number of dependents tax identification number and the tax residency um, which is the country of which your tax number is registered in Underneath uh, that, you're going to go ahead and you have your identification uh, section. So country of assurance, uh, your document type, as well as your document number. So if you use um, driver's license, passport, identification document. And then you're going to go ahead and choose your employment status. And um, once you've uh, in, uh, chosen one, you're going to go ahead and it says, are you or anyone in your immediate family employed or registered with a broker dealer uh, that's either yes or no and then all of your employment details employer name um, country address the nature of business occupation and then your source of wealth here it says please select all categories that contribute to your net worth so these are regulations that require uh, that are required when they are collecting information so you're going to go ahead now and uh, you're going to select whatever is actually appropriate in over here at the bottom of this page you can see that is account information and you've got your base currency of your country and then we have some security questions that you're going to select here such as um what is your favorite cartoon character you can now put in anything you want over there so we're going to go you know just for example sake you can have um two uh, three security questions uh, that are all three required. You're going to go ahead now and you're going to tap on continue.
The next section will require you to configure your trading account. So over here you have your trading account, either cash margin or portfolio margin. We're going to go ahead and choose um, the default. And here we have an annual net income and uh, you can choose the appropriate one, your net worth as well as your liquid net worth. And this is now all in the currency that I had chosen. You can see here it says investment objectives and intended purpose of trading. So here you can go ahead, you can choose all that apply and we have trading experience and permissions. So additional products, um, let's choose bonds and you're going to select your experience level. We're going to go ahead, select five years and then select trades per year as well as your um, your knowledge level. And then permissions to trade, we're going to select United States, that's great. And then stocks over here, you can select your experience as well as trades per year and your knowledge base. And then you have some additional options here, permissions to trade. If there's anything additional, we're going to put that in there. And then your currency or your forex, um, you can then also... Um, enter information in over there if you do have some uh, then you can go down to the bottom of here it says are the owners of or other non-owners listed on the account employees of a publicity traded company if there is yes if it's no no we're going to go ahead now and uh we're going to have a look at the next question is do you the owners of or other non-owners listed on the account control a publicity traded company yes or no you're going to go ahead and answer that and then you have some account add-ons you can enroll in such things as stock yield enhancement program um we're going to leave that out for now and if you do want to go ahead and do that you can go in there you can learn more about that just by tapping on that learn more tab you also have the option to choose um, how you actually heard about interactive brokers uh, we're just going to go ahead and say um, sales that's great we're going to hit continue now we're going to now confirm the tax residence. So you have to now review the following information. This is all the information that you've put in previously. And as you can see over here, the US tax identification number, the SSN or ITIN, and then as well as the foreign tax identification number, if you do, and then the treaty benefits, if you qualify for that, you can now choose the treaty benefits and uh, then there's a certification uh, you must make sure that you agree that you will submit a new form within 30 days if any certification made on this form becomes incorrect you know just go ahead tap on agree and agree make sure that you do read through that and uh, then you're going to go ahead enter in your signature over here and uh, it's just your full name and once you're done you're going to go ahead and tap on continue over here at the bottom you are now in the review and sign agreements section here. You will have to just review all the information that you've just entered in over here. Um, and you can see as you go down, all of that information is in there. You can now um, just click on the blue button over here that says click here to agree to all. However, I do suggest that you go and click on each one of these and go and read those agreements just so that you are familiar with what it is that you're going into you're going to go ahead you are going to put your full name there as a signature once we're done we're going to go ahead and tap on continue we're now in the status area and this is the last part it'll take some time for your account to be approved you can see now that I can confirm my number if I want to. It is optional. And uh, you can just go ahead and click on confirm. And if you want an interactive broker's account, that is how you do it. You go through the process. It is quite a process. So make sure that you've got all of your information correctly and uh, you've got everything ready to go. It says we're setting up um, the account. And uh, if you need to add in some additional information, if there's anything missing, then they will notify you as you see this over here. There is some information missing on my account due to the fact that this is a sample account. If this was helpful, drop us a like. We'll see you in another awesome video.
Cheers.